Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ginger Hacker. Today we are gonna be going over CompTIA CYSA and how you can pass that exam on your first try. So what is CompTIA CYSA? This is the CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst Plus. So the certifications for cyber professionals tasked with incident detection, prevention, and the response to continuous security monitoring. We're gonna go through some tips and tricks that helped me get this certification in a little less than 30 days. Um, please stay tuned for all those tips and tricks toward the end, and let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to kind of go quickly through the basics of what CompTIA is asking for and kind of what this certification is kind of going through for a basic overview, exam details, some preparations, and then I'm also going to kind of push into you guys what the best I think means or ways to study for this exam. So let's go ahead and get started. So. Overview is we're going to be demonstrating competency on current trends, productive monitoring detections, and responding to threats, attacks, and vulnerabilities. So you're going to be learning things such as SIMS, your security information event management tools, endpoint detection response, EDR, or your extended detection and response, XDR. Um, it's going to be asking you to identify specific threats that are happening across the network or even detections you'll be seeing. Um, to include sk uh, skills that critically will assess security analytics and compliance. So nothing too crazy that's going to be uh, causing too many challenges i think during the exam and let's pivot down to see what the exam is actually going to look like so launch date for this back from their update was 003 so we're now in yeah the third version and it was last launched in june 6 2023 so it's going to be verifying successful candidates have a knowledge skill requirement to detect analyze indicators of malicious activity uh, your maximum number of questions you should be seeing is about 85, all going to be multiple choice to include the performance based. Uh, you'll have 165 minutes, passing score is a 750. Recommended experience is your net plus, sec plus, and any equivalent knowledge, minimum of four years of hands-on experience, uh, possibly working inside a SOC, security operations center, um, and, in, and or any equivalents as well. Um, I took this exam probably about a year and a half, close to a year after I passed my security plus. I found that by T, I, I almost wish I took it sooner because I felt that CYSA obviously very much drastically builds up upon Security Plus. Some of the questions were maybe a little bit, we'll call it more technical. They just had a little bit more of a deeper dive that you had to kind of review and understand if you're getting the question uh, mixed or confused. Um, but yeah, languages is offered in English, Japan, Portuguese, and Spanish as well. Uh, retirement right now is to be determined. Uh, usually after every three years, you'll see vouchers and uh, courses get updated with new and up-to-date content. Obviously, CASP is getting updated with the Security X. Um, Security Plus, we just saw the update with well, version six to version seven last year. Um, so one nice thing with this certification is it brings you up to a DOD 8140 approved work role. So all sorts of analysts, writing analysts, forensics, cyber defense forensic analyst, uh, cyber crime investigator, systems and security analyst, and so forth. So if we pivot to pricing, so US currently this certification is going for $404, and then obviously throughout the countries you'll be testing this in, prices may vary. Um, I've mentioned it before, and if you haven't, check out CompTIA's student uh, site for vouchers. You can get these at discounted prices. I wanna say it's almost 20 to 30% off. So that $404 actually would turn into maybe like a 250 some sort of uh, 250 some uh, dollar cost. So how does come to you see what say compare? So vendor neutral, yes. Uh, your EC council obviously has some additional uh, intermediate and pen testing methodologies. This is still focusing, I'd say, more on the deco defensive side. So you're doing more analysis and like looking to see how those intrusions are occurring compared to like pen test plus where you might be looking at those uh, running running those prompts or those kind of questions that are asking you like, hey, how would you initiate this compared to, hey, this is run, what, what happened with this? So preparation is going to be different for everybody. Um, I have not yet used any of the e-learning cert masters from CompTIA. I've heard great things about them. I've just never kind of looked at the price and has really jumped out at me to say I want to practice. Um, as always, I'm going to pivot you guys to the most cheap and effective um, cost and means to kind of study and prepare for this if you're not already in a position or in the field of working on these type of skills. So one thing I always pivot people to is Udemy. One of my favorite classes and also favorite instructors currently is Jason Dion. He does great coursework for Net Plus, Security Plus, Cloud Essentials, Linux. I mean, if you pretty much name the CompTIA certification, chances are Jason Dion probably does have a, uh, a training path or some type of practice exam you can pick up. So obviously this is today on November 20th. 
Um, you always kind of look for these sales. So usually these certifications run for about a hundred dollars to 60. Um, obviously right now with a five hour and 14 minutes, there's a current sale going on for the course, for their complete course and practice exam for $17. And then the practice exams, which gives you six practice exams for $14. Um, I pivoted between both of these and worked on pretty much understanding the concepts, understanding definitions, abbreviations, and feeling extremely comfortable when I saw some, if it was like maybe a review of code or uh, understanding what the question was asking for. Um, at the ending of all these questions, when I kind of saw my final percent percentiles, I would then pivot to that section or domain and then start to pivot, do more uh, research if necessary to figure out what I was missing on concepts. I'm um, also going to pop it on the screen, but make sure you're also looking into Pocket Prep. Uh, Pocket Prep is an amazing, excellent phone application. I believe you can find it on Apple and Android to uh, study on the go. It's friendly, quick, and easy to quickly knock out some uh, questions. You can do a daily question of the day, uh, quick 10 questions. You can create your own. You can do Power Act these skill up levels where you're specifically targeting those domains you're doing poorly in. and. Uh, I roughly did this for about 30 days for my CYSA on this, those same means, pretty much using Udenemy and Pocket Prep. I was roughly scoring in the ranges of about 75 to 85, depending on the quiz. And I kind of went in swinging with the best knowledge I could and knocked out the go. So really appreciate you guys sticking around for this entire video. So CompTIA certifications are, I think, a great stepping stone and means to get into cybersecurity and in order to kind of build up those skills. Um, there is going to be a point in time in your careers where certifications are going to be great, but that hands-on keyboard is obviously the golden ticket you like, um, as well as eventually pivoting from maybe the basic grounding concepts of what CompTIA offers and then specializing or going into a specific uh, environment, maybe cloud, AWS, CrowdStrike for EDRs, Microsoft. Um, everyone knows that the golden goose right now is SANS, but everyone also knows those are very pricey certifications you have to pay for. Um, always leverage your, your employer and such or military for your VA and your student uh, reimbursement stuff for attending those certifications because obviously it's a lot less out of your pocket. We're always trying to learn on a penny because as cybersecurity knows and those in the field, our field is always, grow is always growing and expanding and we're always needing to kind of keep our skills sharp. So, hey, thanks so much for sticking around. Really appreciate it if you've made it this far. Throw a like, subscribe, and follow if you'd like to see more videos like this. Um, also, we'll be seeing a few more coming out for the Linux beta coming out here that just got released on the 17th that Linux, that uh, CompTIA is currently has going on. As before, those betas are $50 and are a great means to get into an certification and possibly have a pass for a simple $50 or prices may vary depending on the location you'd be taking your exam. Um, to include another video coming down the pipe here soon for a how to pass CASP. So, hey, really appreciate your guys' time. Thanks for staying for the video and I will catch you guys later.